is Michelle Ngele of Yambo. We're bringing you live pictures there of the very latest taking place in Kiambu County as Dr. James Senoro has just been sworn in as the third governor of Kiambu County. Uh, James Senoro is just uh, uh, doing the procedures, signing the documents there, uh, taking, uh, taking stage and uh, taking the title of the head of the county government of Kiambu. This, of course, following the impeachment of Ferdinand Waititu by the Senate on Monday night. It is a swearing in that had been objected to by Ferdinand Waititu at the court, but the High Court cleared the way for the swearing in of James Nyoro there, as you can see. This has happened in Kiambu following the Senate's move to uphold the impeachment of Ferdinand Waititu. Quite a lot of jubilation there from friends, fans as well of Dr. James Nyoro. Many expecting that there will be a lot of development in Kiambu County ahead of the general elections in just two and a half years to come. Now, if you are just joining us, Dr. James Nyoro has just been sworn in a few minutes ago as a third governor of Kiambu County in a ceremony that was botched yesterday. Uh, he was expected to be sworn in yesterday morning, uh, but uh, there were issues with uh, uh, the judge who was expected to swear in uh, Dr. James Nyoro. Uh, Ferdinand Waititu, of course, has uh, moved to court uh, to, uh, to talk about uh, the impeachment there by the Senate saying it was not anchored in law, uh, it was not a lawful impeachment by the Senate. There have been issues of uh, quorum in the Kiambu County Assembly when that impeachment motion was uh, passed uh, to, effect, uh, to, to impeach the uh, former governor, Fad 922. We'll continue to keep an eye on that legal process as he seeks regress. But the latest now is that uh, Kiambu County government will have its third governor. Dr. James Nyoro. They're coming to you from uh, Kiambu County. Dr. James Nyoro has been sworn in as the third governor of the county, taking over from Ferdinand Waititu, who was impeached by members of the county assembly, a decision that was upheld by the Senate on Wednesday this week. The event happened, uh, is happening at the county headquarters of uh, Kiambu following a notice in the special issue of the Kenya Gazette as well as the County Gazette which was published late last night. There had been a debate over the lawfulness of the swearing-in that had been scheduled for yesterday. Uh, many saying the date venue had not been gazetted for the same. And today's swearing-in comes after the initial swearing-in failed to take place yesterday after a judge dispersed by the judiciary raised legal issues with the manner in which the event had been planned. Earlier, High Court Judge Weldon Korir, however, had declined a request by Ferdinand Waititu to stop the swearing-in of James Nyoro. Waititu there claiming that uh, his impeachment that was upheld by the Senate was not anchored in law. And uh, we've had uh, a few members of the Senate as well, as well as uh, um, Senate Majority Leader uh, Kipchumba Murkomen coming out to say that might not have been um, a legal process but that is the very latest at uh, the Kiambu County government.
All right, so let's bring in our reporter, Mark Namaswa. He has been following up on this swearing in since yesterday. Mark, good afternoon. The swearing in ceremony has finally taken place. What more can you tell us? It has been quite uh, a long way for Kiambu residents, especially those who have been supporting uh, as then deputy governor, but now governor. Uh, Dr. James Nyoro. Uh, since uh, what happened yesterday concerning uh, the legal loopholes and pitfalls that uh, made the exercise impossible yesterday, but today finally done. And just after signing the certificate of the inauguration, some few minutes to 1 p.m., we are still following up on the program, and uh, I can see the Kiambu resident uh, magistrate who is acting as the MP for the event speaking on uh, the way forward. So let's listen in. Of Kiambu County. So, Your Honor, and His Excellency. Pursuant to the provisions of Article 79 of the Constitution and Section 40 of Ethics and Anti-Corruption Act, as led with Regulation 342 of Leadership and Integrity Act 2015, he is supposed to take the to commit himself to a Leadership and Integrity Code, and uh, he can do so within seven days, but he can also take it at the same time with the oath just like he did last time. So, Your Honor, I call upon you and His Excellency to commit, so you witness as he commits himself to the Leadership and Integrity Code. Uh, the third governor of uh, Kiambu County there, Dr. James Senoro, committing himself to a tough task for the next uh, two and a half years as the governor of uh, Kiambu County ahead of the general elections. Residents of Kiambu County also voicing uh, the expectations that they have uh, for James Senoro. Tight security has been witnessed in this event at the headquarters throughout the swearing in armed policemen, as we had been showing you earlier on was seen as residents sang and danced in the event that has taken place for the better part of the day. This after pro Nyoro leaders led by MCA's friends and relatives were in a frenzied mood this morning anticipating the swearing in of their new Kiambu governor and uh, this, of course, coming in after the impeachment of uh, Ferdinand Waititu, who was impeached facing um, with all three charges having been upheld by the Senate there um, among the charges that he was facing, gross violation of the Constitution, Public Finance Management Act, as well as the um, PPD Act there. And uh, charges were upheld. Ferdinand Waititu has moved to court seeking legal regress there. But it will be a tough task for him now following the official swearing in of uh, James Nyoro, and uh, many have been speaking about uh, the tough task ahead there uh, for Ferdinand Waititu. But for James Nyoro, he will be continuing the legacy uh, that uh, the people of uh, the Kiambu County government uh, expect to, the Kiambu County rather, uh, expect to be upheld by the end of this term, uh, have been worked hand in hand with Ferdinand Waititu. Belle, and uh, it is uh, required that she witnesses as he commits himself.
Your, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency the Governor, Your Honor, I call upon His Excellency to commit himself in the presence of the gathering today, uh, which is required, uh, this commitment to leadership and integrity code is required for all the state officers, and that is what he's going to commit himself to. I, James Karanja Nyoro, holder of national ID number 6420248, and of PU Box number 9061-00100, having been appointed governor in Kiambu County, do hereby confirm that I have read and understood the leadership and integrity code for state officers in the Kiambu County government and hereby solemnly declare and commit myself to abide by the provisions of the code at all times. Sitting. Music. DJ Tafadhari, tuweke mziki kidogo. Governor Anapoenda kutia sahihi kwa ile cheti.